Hello, it's Sarah. I'm going to turn off my fan. Okay. I'm ready for, this is the June art journal page that I've been doing monthly. And I'm going to be using my prompt cards for art journaling in my art journal. Not these pages specifically. These are going to tend to be more Sarah style. Um, because I'm just liking that and I think the prompt cards are going to be just for playing and stuff. So this is more of a planned project. My inspiration comes from this little, I've, I had these big stencils, it's just a big number stencil. And it's by Americana, but there's this little image here and I just thought it was adorable. So I'm going to put my own spin on it. But that little bird, you know, I have birdies, and maybe you can hear them now. Um, I was going to crackle. I was going to, I think I am going to stencil. I'm not going to crackle. And I don't think I'm going to collage the background. I think I'm going to use these stamps. Never used this one. This was a clearance stamp from Hobby Lobby. Um, and I have this one. So I think I'm going to, so instead of, I'm just so, ugh, I don't know, I'm torn. Because I really love these, this sentiment stencil, believe, dream, love, sing. So I saw sing. Anywho, we'll see how it goes. I'm not thinking I'm going to do this, though. So I'm just going to set that aside. And I'm just going to do some, uh, let's see, do I want to? I should have gessoed. I think I'm going to gesso. All right, I'll be back, and then I'll know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, I'm excited. Um, that shine is going to get on my nerves, so I'm going to put a piece of paper there, I guess. See what happens. Ta-da! That's going to be my bird. I'm going to cut my bird out of that. I'm going to use my jelly plate again and my brayer because I'm really loving it. And it's Sarah style. I've picked these colors, orange, green, and yellow, to do my background. And then I'm going to put a little bit of this teal, well, this is called, yeah, teal blue, teal, um, on top with a stencil, I'm pretty sure, okay? But for right now, I'm going to just put out some of this. This is called Sour Apple, and it's just a straight matte um, paint with my brayer and I have some regular old computer paper at the ready because I'm gonna brayer off onto the computer paper so like this and then I'm gonna put I'm just gonna put some color on here gently though I don't want to just get really um, see look see how it's just kinda chill yay all right, then I'm going to go with a little yellow. Oh, I don't want to use a neon. I want to use just a regular. This is just opaque yellow. Again, it's a flat. I think the orange is a gloss. So I'm going to, maybe I'll do the orange first. And I'm not going to clean the um, gel plate, jelly plate. And I'm not using tons of paint because I really want to try and keep this subtle which is not my natural way. So I'm just brayering off, cleaning the brayer on paper. And then, I mean, you can stamp and stencil and do all types of things. Maybe I should just lay a stencil over it. Because I have, I have my dots. I'm gonna put it over it and just gently again, not to um, so I have a few dots then you can even like I just picked it up and laid it down where I had put the paint on top so see all that paint that was left on the stencil and then there's more here so this is like a reverse stencil now getting a lot more orange than I thought. I want to go yellow. This is a background, you guys, so don't 
See, I should move this, although my shiny, that's going to block the shiny. Oh, that's just as shiny. I'll put a stamp there. Um, that'll be just as shiny, too. It's from, I have, like, track lights on the ceiling that, like, it's like a spotlight. So I don't know if I even want to go over this because it's looking really cool. I don't know why it gets like that. Um, I want to do, I'm just going to go gently, and I don't clean the jelly plate very often. Ooh, maybe I should stamp some of these music notes. I've never used this before. But I'm going to go... I don't really have any paint on the edges. I'm just going to take a piece of deli paper. <coughs> this is just regular. I think I might have gotten it on Amazon. I'm not sure. I think they sell it at BJ's and um, Costco and stuff like that. Just to clean off the deli plate a little. And I'm going to go back with green. And I think that I'm going to leave it. And I'm going to be, I'm going to shade around. I've never used, this isn't like my go-to palette either. That's the thing. But I just wanted to see what would happen. I kind of like it over here. Um, maybe more dots. And watch, I like doing this, so I just take and put that on top of there. And all that paint should come off, and I should clean it too, for sure. But I think we got to get a little more green on here. It's getting kind of muddy. I didn't realize that. I don't know where these colors are on the um, color wheel. But I think um, I want to be done and just see... They're not my favorite color choices, like, um, maybe it's not a good choice, but I think once I get done doing all I'm going to do to the background, I'm tempted, I wish I had a music note stencil, because I think, I thought, no, but I want to collage on top of it. See, I kind of like this better than this. This looks, like, too blotchy. Like, I wanted it, like, more plain. My, my, my cord is stuck. Oh, got it. to stencil with my new stencil brush. This is one that I got from Tracy Moreau. I ordered, I'm pretty sure, either her, the brush guys or her own website because she sells um, pattern, pattern packets for decorative painting. And so it could be from, now I want to stamp this. I might do embossing. I could do embossing. Probably just black. 
but the first thing I want to do, I'm going to put these words. I I really wanted to stencil, or you could just use letters. Numbers would look cool. Actually, that could look cool. But I think I'm going to do this with this nice dark um, teal color. I'm going to like draw um, a bird cage shape. So what am I doing? All right. Now here's the thing. I'm going to send Matt a box. I have a few things over here. I want to make some ATCs with these girls. I haven't um, used that yet. So let's see. I just have a little uh, paper towel. So I'm going to I don't know if I should be okay I think that I don't want to get it all off so we'll see how it goes I should probably practice and you just do little swirls I hope I'm not going under the stencil that's the trick when you're stenciling is you just want it to get on the paper I think my brush is too wet I'm not a professional stenciler. Let's check. Looks good. My believe got really messy. I think it's too wet. That's that's what I'm thinking. But you don't pounce. You're supposed to swirl. So I'm just going to swirl. And again, guys, this is not my focal point. This is just background. So don't get too caught up in the perfection of it. Well, I don't. If you want to, you can. You can get very caught up in that. I don't want to. Look, it looks good. I'm going to put out a little more paint. Uh-oh, what does this word say right here? Wait. Laugh. My A-U, my A, is a little weird. So that might not come out good. But I want create. My brush is way too wet. Inspire. Enjoy, live, we're sing, they're sing. Let's get laugh. Oh, I probably messed up the A. Imagine. You could just use a sponge. To do this guys you don't need a stencil brush just that I have it and I'm probably just using it wrong anyway I just know you're supposed to swirl all right let's take it off it's a mess but it's a background and I like it I'm gonna put um, I might have other words but see that could be the bot I have to clean this off um, that could just be, I could, but I have other words. I'll use other words. I have, this is a, what's, let me see if there's a name on here. This is Deco Art Americana stencil. Um, I don't think it has a name on it, but, uh, it's by Deco Art. I have some words on here and here. Um, they don't look, I'm going to put be happy on the bottom. I think that'll look good. I think be happy. Yeah, I'm going to do be happy. Okie dokie. Yep, I'm going to do be happy. I have hardly any paint on my brush now, so it's a very dry brush. And there was paint on the stencil. Seems like it's not slipping, but I think I got it. 
and it's a little black. See, I pulled the black off. That's okay. I forgive myself. But yeah, that's because I don't clean my stencils. All right. And this is how I probably am so rough, that's how I mess up the A. So, like, you have to be careful. Oops. Sometimes there's little, like, this part of the S. You have to be careful. Maybe I should just be putting it in a bucket of water or something, you know? Like this little part of the E. But if you don't clean them, then you'll get color mixing, which I'm not mad about because um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do floating and stuff. And we're going to add a lot of stuff on there. This one doesn't have, this one has a different type of, like it's cut differently, so it's holding all the little pieces of the um, stencil together. See, I can be really rough on that, so I should have cleaned that one. Um, but yeah, so now I'm going to just add some more to the background. We're going to add black and white for sure. Um, and I, I want to do... See, I don't know. These words are kind of big. I'm going to do some um, floating. I'm going to use that same blue color. And do the edges. Why won't it come out? Um, probably just use my big angle brush. And corner load and go. I didn't put any media on here because you know what? I I forgot actually. So I can tell that the paper is is grabbing the paint. It's not just slipping along because I put um matte medium or something on there or mob podge, any type of sealant or even just like a sealer or gesso. Um, but, I mean, it works. It's fine. And, I, because I wasn't sure if I was going to be collaging. And so it, um, yeah, I forgot that step. Kind of abusing my brush, but mixed media is a lot more free and you don't have to be as gentle and I'm not gentle by nature so I tend to just get it on there but that looks cool I'm not hating the yellow orange and blue now um, but I did want some music notes so I'm not sure if I'm just gonna or maybe just do the big one I should probably just um, stamp this out. Maybe I'll collage it, but basically here's my image. So I, I drew this little bird. I'm going to find them around here somewhere, right here. So this is the image that I was talking about that is from the Deco Art stencil I have, or Americana, whatever it was. So I just drew kind of like an egg shape. I'll do it for you on a, um, a blank piece of paper. So you're just going to do a little egg shape. Or you can use a stamped image of a bird or whatever you want to do. Something that you've cut out of a collage sheet, like a calendar bird or something. But basically a little egg. So just an egg shape, kind of wider at the top and come down narrower at the bottom. You can't see that, can you? And then just make a little tail. Oh, I got to eat something. Make a little tail, connect right here. And then his little legs will be there. And then I put a wing. You can keep, you can even make that separate. And then another wing. And then his little eyes are closed. And he just has a little beak like that. Like he's singing. See, he's going to be singing. And I put a, I'm going to put a crown on him. Just a little three-point crown. So you can do that separately. 
and glue we could you could even um i might even put that like up here like it's on top here it would have looked better if i put it over here like he's it's on the back of his head i like it big like that maybe he's wearing a big huge crown all right so you're gonna do something like that and i actually used a piece of um Kind of, I think this was probably a brayered off piece of paper. I don't, yeah, it was. It wasn't like a deli, a jelly print. It was brayered off. So, um, one of the things we could do first, though, to the background is add, I think I'm going to add the music notes with a teal color ink. See, I, I kind of decide as I go, but I think I have this color that totally matches. I also have a small, where is my smaller, here, this one. Maybe I should just do this one. It's basically very similar. This just is a little more intricate, and it might be easier to control this one, so I think I'm going to use the smaller one. No, I kind of don't want to, but I can't really ink this up. You know what I have, though? I have this stays on. I'm going to use this because it's a bigger ink pad. So let's see what happens. And I'm going to take this and put it on top like this. So just kind of hit and miss. I don't know how inky my ink pad is. I like it though. It's very subtle. You can't see like you, it basically just lines, but I like it. I'm going to do more. I probably could have um, embossed it, but, and it would, but I don't have like that color embossing powder. I probably have. Oh, I could have used like a, um, the the school buses here. What's today? How do people still have school? I think Maya, Maya's coming over tonight. I think she was done on Tuesday. Look, that's much darker. Oh, no, no, it's the trash truck. Trash, it's sorry, it's trash. Yeah, I think the kids are done school. It's Thursday, but look, I can see that. I love it. And then I could do, see, I don't, I have orange. Do you think this orange would show up? I could just do like circles or, see, I, I think the white is kind of cool. Um, I think I should do um, this big stamp. Maybe I'll stamp it out on a piece of, uh, uh, of, I have deli paper, ooh, I could stamp it out like on here, that's kind of pink, like stamp it out on here and then collage it on top, maybe I'll try that, all right, so I do, I do want to do more to the background for some reason, I think I want to add some fluorescent orange, that's what I'll do. I think I could do some small, uh, like little dots or something. Where's my go-to? Maybe hearts. I'm going to do hearts in orange. See, these are my go-to stamps. Sorry, yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm saying sorry to myself because I bump into my own stuff. But I think I want to do hearts. Ooh. With orange. So let's put some fluorescent orange paint. And I might be getting carried away, but this is the fun of it for me. And this is such a different, um, see I don't have an, oh I have an orange ink pad. Let me try it with the ink pad. Sorry guys, I'm a little confused. Not confused, but forgetful. So I'm going to ink this with this orange and put it in a few places. Yes, it shows up.
because some of the circles, I did some orange circles, but I love that orange hearts. These are like kind of my go-to things I always put on an art journal page. I generally do hearts, this one, the script stamp, but I did it with music notes this time. Oh, I love that. I have the orange there. <clears throat> so it's nice to have ink pads that are like, so you get a variety of colors and put the tone on tone ink. Don't always just add more colors to your project. Keep stay in the same family and then it doesn't look as um, crazy. Um, all right, I'm loving that. And then I do want to add black, but I think I'm going to stamp out that big stamp wherever it went and um, adhere this one, adhere it on. So right now I got to make a cage. I'm going to cut him out and get him placed on here. See, this is how they did this one kind of made it like a cage with the bars and everything and look they like stuck him behind that can you see that like he's sticking through and then there's a little branch so the first thing I want to do is just I should probably use something to keep it but you know what I'm used to winging it um, but do I want to see the top of the cage like put the cage on here. I think that might be what I want to do. <coughs> like make a frame. I know you guys can't see this. And then I could do this in gold. I think I'm going to do this in gold. All right, I'll be back. I want to think about this, but I think I'm going to do it in gold. I have a gold, I have gold paint. I think I'm going to go with gold paint because that way I can take it off and put it on how I want to. I like that idea. All right. And I'm going to use my liner brush. I have a nice, I want something that's going to be able to hold a bit of paint, so I want it to be... A little bit longer bristles so this one looks good this is a number two rigger and that's another one that I got because uh, Tracy Moreau recommended it so this is I really don't want to just wing this completely I gotta put this ink away and this ink away um, I think I would be better off, let me just wait one second, I definitely want to, you know what I could use is my um, chalk pencil, I think you guys might even be able to see that, and, nope, not really, I don't think, Huh. I'm just going to wing it because that's how I do. I'm just going to pick up an area that I want to start and then I'm going to meet it at the top. And I'm just going to arch it like this. And, and guess what? We're going to um, shade all around it and stuff too. So don't Looks good enough, right? And then I think I'll put, I'm gonna put it above be happy. I don't know if you guys can see it very, it should shine. Yeah, you can see it. 
and you gotta have a couple bars where is where's my little picture my inspiration because there's gonna be a little twig going across all right let's let's make a twig this will all come into view as I, I might use um, a pen to go around it with. So this is just called, this is a satin coffee bean. I could actually mix a little bit of this, ugh, look how messy that got. A little bit of this and um, a lighter brown. And you just kind of swirl it on your brush and it'll, uh, boy, that, was, that was stuck in there. But I have like a, uh, let's see, you know what I love, my burnt sienna. Where's my burnt sienna? Where's my little friend, burnt sienna? Here it is. I love burnt sienna. It's kind of a reddish brown, but it might not be that different. Stinker. How about light cinnamon? No. I think like, sorry, like a toffee color. Gosh, honey brown. Honey brown is a nice different color. Same brush, the rigor. I don't think this was shook up enough. Why are you being so messy? It's the nature of the beast. It's the nature of it. All right. I'm loving this though. I'm feeling good. I'm going to go up a little higher. I don't want to come out of the shot. And you know, I could measure this out and be very precise because I can already tell that this is not totally even. But I don't care because it's fun. All right, so I'm going to load it up with the dark brown. Let me show you what I'm doing. And then, so I'm loading up, and then I'm just going to drag it through the light, the lighter. And I'm going to go, let me see how big my bird is. He's not that big. I'm going to put the branch like kind of right here. And I'm just going to kind of up all that light color. And I'm really being nervous like I already did have two cups of coffee but I want it to be thick and thin that's cute this is gonna be like right in this all right make a little thing here and you know what we can even add leaves if we want to OMG so cool all right, because I just got more birds. See, that's so cute. I just, whatever. It could be straight. It can be wonky, whatever. Um, going to put, I think I want this to be, the gold, to be a little thicker. So I'll put another coat. And I'm really pushing the brush down because this is, like, going to be the um, frame of the, of the cage so wonky that's a shame and I do I think I want it to come down the side so I'm basically just letting my brush hang over this side and it, it's going pretty well so just put your brush right on the side of the paper and it'll continue down so cute right Oop, I just spit my own hand all right I'm gonna go around it with black and stuff. but I like it I get excited don't I OMG I get so excited it makes me happy though whoops I got brown on my brush just making that thicker because it's the bottom. And then, what? See, because I could have done way more to my background, but I'm getting impatient. I want to cut out my little guy. I'll come back when he's cut. I think he's going to go right about here, right in the middle. But I think I'm going to put some more cage on now. So I'm going to put a little bit more of a top here. I just want to put, and he's going to have a gold crown, so I don't want the gold to come down too far, but I do think I want it like a little something up here. I don't know why. And then I'm going to make this bar, 
because I'm going to glue him down and then I'm going to put the, I like how he's kind of sticking out of the cage. I like that. So I could put one, two, three, I think I could put four bars. So this one's going to be under him. So I'm going to start here. I might need more gold. I should do it in brown or something and then put the gold on top of it. That might have been a better move. But basically I'm just going to go from here to there. Um, I think I should do it like this. Oops, I st stuck my hand in the um, branch. So just like here. I think starting at the top is better for me because I can um, make the shape the way I want it. I'm just taking off a little of that because I don't didn't like how I went over. Okay. And then I don't love this. I put my finger in it. I'll fix it in a minute. All right, and then this one is going to go, but he's going to, it's going to be on top of him, but that's okay. I can put it on top of him after. I'm just eyeballing it. So this is the thing. I, I'm not a perfectionist. I want it to look nice, but I don't need it to be perfect. And I just want to have fun. So sometimes if you're stressing it to be perfect, it's, it makes it a little more stressful, right? So I'm going to continue. Once I glue this down, I just wanted to make sure I could make it stick out. Okay, good. So this part's going to be behind, but his little head's going to be over. And... I'm going to do shading. OMG, it's going to be so cute. Um, but I have to put him on here now, I think. Am I ready? Because then am I going to put this big music note? I think I am. But I think it needs to be embossed and like on a piece of deli paper. So I don't, okay, I think I'm going to, but at the end. So let me glue him down. I gotta get my matte medium. Matte medium. Oh, sorry guys, I'm too old to reach it. Not too old. And this isn't quite dry yet, but we're gonna add some detail. So I'm gonna go off camera and glue him down and then I'll be back. All right, we got to put that um, gold bar over Kirby's on my lap because I don't know what it is. There's some type of truck making a booming noise out there. She does not like thunder or do it or loud noises, right? So she's right on my lap. But I'm just going to finish this bar across her little wing and body. And we are going to outline these whoop I want crooked curb bars no don't lick me um she's not that little to sit on my lap like this you know oh she's licking me again why you gotta lick me all the time oops stuck my hand in it but uh oh wait a minute no that's that's fine the branch is staying in there okay I'm just going to make it a little darker and yeah so when I outline it oh it's going to pop so nice nice all right um going to use this is from Dick Blick this is a tissue paper that I think I saw it on Patty Tolly Parish Inky Obsessions she recommended this as like collage paper for um 
whatever to collage yeah so I think I might try this first with embossing powder I'm gonna use I could let me look at this I think I'm gonna use black oh excuse me Kerbo I'm gonna put it up here and yes I'm gonna use black because I think every art journal page needs a little bit of black because I have lots of different golds. I have, no, I have red. Where in the heck is, here it is. Oh, MJ, this is a sparkly black. Black sparkle. I kind of don't want to use black sparkle. I want straight black. Well, I don't think... Well, maybe I'll use black sparkle since that's what I have. But I have regular black. You know what? I think it's over here. Kirby, you gotta get off me. All right, I'll be right back. I found it. I have a couple different golds. This is Stampendous Pirate Gold, and this is just called Gold and it's Recollections. I think the Pirate Gold is really pretty, but I'm gonna go with this one. It just looks lighter. And I'm gonna do this over here. This is an the Versamark pen. And it has a thick side and a thin side. So let me see what this thin side looks like. Basically, just want to outline what I did. And then I'm going to color it in. Maybe I should just do it on paper, regular paper. This is, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know that this is a good idea. Because it's such a fine. All right, let's try it. Hmm. Well, it, do, it doesn't seem like it, it got like even coverage. That's why I just kept going back and forth. why I needed to do it out of this tough because I could have just cut it out which I gotta cut it out um, I might put like a bling on top of it I have like Swarovski crystals and I think that would just look cute like maybe red or something see I could probably just glue it down like the whole thing with the paper like that because it's see-through that's the idea anyway but Not perfect. I think that's cute. All right, I'm going to adhere it and I'm going to adhere my this too. My this. And I'm going to put it up top. What the heck? Oh, I stuck my stamp in. Sorry for the chaos, kids pretty chaotic on my desk right now. Don't know how I get so crazy all the time, but 
I'm in a happy place though. All right, and you can use um, any type of crown. You have, maybe you have a, um, a chipboard crown or a metal crown. Any, any type of crown would be good. I don't know what embossing looks like when you Mod Podge over it, huh? Well, this is not Mod Podge. It's not really sticking. Come on, you. It's trying to curl back up. And this one. Oh, Kiwi, I had her with me most of the morning and I just can't take her little nails on my shoulder all the time because I have a thin shirt on and then she starts sliding down my shirt but she hears me I guess gotta be careful that tissue paper looks very fragile Oh, but look, it is blending right into the background. See, it's like magic. I don't want to rip it. So I'm just going to be gentle. Cool. This isn't really sticking. I should take it off if it's not going to work because I could just draw it right onto the surface or paint it. I could have just painted it on, you know? But I wanted it to be dimensional. You could even cut out um, the little wings out of a different piece of paper. Like, I'm kind of tempted to put some orange on that, actually. I have orange out right here. My fluorescent orange. So I'm going to put I'm going to put some of this on the wings, like on this part right here. Oopsie. And right here. Maybe a little on his tail. Just tip his tail feathers. So what's that looking like? It's a little shiny, but I'm liking it. All right, you guys, I think it's time for our details. Um, so that means a pen. Got to get this dry though. I'm going to go back. I'm going to come back with my desk clear and I can focus. I'll be right back. Okay. Sorry. I'm going to pick up Maya in a minute. But I just wanted to put, like I'm going to do this line work. This one goes over his little body. And see how nice, like then I can straighten out the lines too. I already did some at the top. But I want to go over, oops. And I think I could do something black down there. Um, oops, this one, oops, I don't want to go too fast because that's how I, um, but I found these blings, I don't know, the red could look really cool, I have gold, and then I just have a white kind of one, kind of like these, these have AB, Aurora Borealis, nah, I think I want color. I think I might go red. Let's see what a red one looks like. What do you think, Kay? Kiwi's with me now. She was being so mouthy. But I kind of like the smaller. I think I could just do this with the smaller. See, guys, this is all personal preference, and I can't make decisions. It's like one of my hardest things to do. Um, oh, that doesn't even have any sticky on it. That's why it's not sticking. 
these are just probably like really cheap I think I'm gonna go with that the gold really cheap little uh, <clears throat> I've collected these over time, so probably AC Moore, Michaels, just wherever. Oops, see, look, the stickiness is not staying. I just wanted to do it quickly, and because I could, I will probably just use glue to make sure that they stay, because the sticky back keeps coming off of them. But that's cute. Um, and then I need to go all the way down there we need to do the branch I already did oop I got a red one stuck to my finger now this is my um, what is this called needle ball vision and I love it it's a nice black line it works on mixed media really nice and you guys can put so many more details on here if you want to but that looks good I wanted to give them I put some pink out because I'm just gonna take one of my little dotting tools and give them pink I haven't ever even used that this little dotting tool and give them a pink cheek a little pink uh, it's not even showing up because the background is so pink can't even see it uh, what else <coughs> his legs and the branch so the branch just kinda keep it at a little free flowing so I'm letting my lines be really wiggly I could have added leaves because that would be cute Um, he needs feet. Well, a couple of feet there. And look at his cheeks. They're starting to pop. I don't know if you can tell. I think I need something black down here, too, but I'm not sure. But that's our art journal page for what? For June. OMG. It's already June. And it's almost July. So I had to get this in. Then I'm going to start playing with my art journal prompt cards that I made. Because that's going to be fun to see what I do when I'm just prompted with a technique or a, uh, a, a media but that's so cute so I hope you guys enjoyed that I may add something black down here I don't know what um, but that's it you guys I gotta go get Maya I could just write June I'll just write June 18 that's it alright you guys thanks for watching all right, I wanted to share. I'm not happy with the bottom of the page. I'm just taking off my June if I can. But I'm going to take some more gold and I'm going to elongate the um the cage itself because I just didn't feel like it looked right. So I'm going to take and make a little like another part of the cage. I'm going to leave be happy. But I'm just going to uh so thick because I'm being hasty I like this though this is going to be better and it just feels like it finishes the page alright I just wanted to tell you that and I mean I could put more bars like just fit, make the bars come down I think I'm gonna go one, two. So I'm going on top of Be Happy, but it is the background. So that doesn't matter. I'm gonna add more bars. It just didn't, I don't know. I, something was bothering me about the bottom. So that is gonna make me happy. And 
then, I mean, I could still see adding something with a black down there. But I think if I just outline this, it's still a little wet. I'm definitely, um, rushing the process. But I think that did it. I think that did it. I like it better. Because I did that little bit of work up here, so I just thought it needed something else down there. And I could even do more, like make little X's or something. Little X's would be cute. Or even just like boop, 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 boop. Something like that. See, now I'm getting crazy. But I feel like it, so that's why. I'm going to just go one way. <clears throat> I think that's good. All right, I gotta go. I gotta go get Maya. Um, but that's it. I think it looks better. I like it better. It was funner. It's cuter. It has more gold. I love it. Look at him with his cute little pink cheeks. Can you see him? Not really. I could draw a circle around him. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.